Hey guys, I'm Felicity Trevino and I'm here with another episode of Cal TV at the Movies. I'm sitting here with actor John C. Riley, who's starring in the upcoming film Cyrus. I am in a tailspin. I'm lonely, borderline desperate. Don't. Okay, so I have a question for you. Is Jonah Hill really, really creepy in real life? Because no. he is he seems like such a funny guy. Like he seems like so like funny, but after that movie, like I just like can't I'm having a he hard plays time. Creepy very yeah. well, doesn't he? It's great to finally have a new dad. <laughs> Night John. Actually your mom's in the shop. He's very like Norman he is Bates like the opposite of creepy. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> he's someone he's a really smart. Mm -hmm. Person, you know, he's way more mature than his years. Yeah. And he's a very clever actor, you know? <laughs> You're paranoid. You are out of your league. I will knock you out. Uh, no, he's not creepy at all. He's, he's <laughs> really, really funny and really down to earth and cool. enthusiastic and a sweetheart. <laughs> okay, so your character, I really, really enjoyed the movie. Like, it was fantastic. And I really liked your character. Like, he was very, like, awkwardly adorable and, like, really real. Kind of like having a conversation here oh. so uh Okay, I'm gonna have some conversations too here eventually. And um, I know I was at the screening last night and they said that um, you guys deviated a lot from the script. Like yeah. it was, it was a lot of it was improv. So I was wondering, do you prefer that? Like did you like the freedom of it or do you prefer more concrete script? I, I prefer being employed, you know? <laughs> so, so whatever a director wants to do, I, I think an mm -hmm. actor's job is to try to adapt to yeah. the situation that you're presented with. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of freedom and it's very empowering for an actor to get to improvise because then you kind of feel like you're part yeah. of the storytelling and you're a real collaborator in terms of you know, the story coming together. Uh, it's just a different skill, I suppose. but but I like to be adaptable enough to do both. Yeah, it was really cool because like um, like the Shrek line you said was like um, improv and that was right. like one of the funniest lines. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Shrek. What are you doing here? What are you this. doing here in the I forest say that. Shrek? You've worked a lot in comedy and drama. Like you've done things like, you know, Magnolia was the first time I saw you and I love that movie. And you know, like you've done like Walk Hard and you've done Chicago. So you've obviously done like, you know, like comedy and drama. Um, do you prefer one over the other? Do you like gravitate towards one or do you just go with like something new every time? Well, you kind of, I kind of flip flop back and forth. You know, if you do something that's really heavy and dramatic, usually you feel like I gotta do something that's like <laughs> just more fun and goofy. Mm -hmm. And then if you do goofy stuff for a while, you start to feel like, oh, maybe it's time to get back to the real, you know, or, or whatever. And that's been kind of like the story of my life is just mm -hmm. kind of, a, a big variety of things and trying yeah. to just change it up as much as I can, try to avoid being stereotyped and hopefully surprising the audience every time I do something. Do you have a favorite scene in the film? My favorite scene in the film was probably when the three of us are first sitting down to dinner together mm -hmm. and Jonah is kind of asking me like, what are you all about? <laughs> like, Who are you? I had this like really <laughs> revealing moment where I'm like, well, I'm divorced, I ruined my marriage, I <laughs> I blew it, and this is where I'm at, and yes, I did have sex with your mom. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was so awkward. Incredibly <laughs> awkward and funny, but heartbreakingly real scene. Yeah. Like, that's the one that stands out to me, but yeah. there's a lot of big laughs in yeah. this movie. So to you, what is the main message of the film? I mean, is it like to be yourself or to be accepting of other people? Or? I don't know. I think a couple things you could probably draw from it, which is, one is that sometimes love can make you do weird things. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> there is such a thing as being too close. Uh, and then, I mean, from my own character's point of view, I think the lesson he learns is like, you know, love is always worth it, you know. Yeah. You should, even though it's scary and you might get your heart broken, you have to be brave and not give up on love and try again. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank um, you. The film was amazing. You did an amazing job. And be sure to check out Cyrus, which is in theaters this Friday in the city, and then it'll be releasing wider later. Thank you so much. Thank you, Felicity. <laughs>